Good morning, it's Wednesday, September 13th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Overnight, the precious metals are weaker after yesterday's softer session. You've got gold down $1, $19.34, silver down $0.22, cents, $23.17. Copper's unchanged at $3.79, and platinum is down 10 at $9.03. I'm seeing a lot of the self-directed traders, a lot of the guys that trade on their own, they are trading that platinum market between the mid-890s and just above $900. They've been doing this for a while here, trading back and forth around that kind of hold number there, 900 level, buying that weakness, selling any kind of rally. So we'll see how long that pattern goes before we get a directional bias here on the platinum market, which has recently sold off fairly aggressively, down about seven straight sessions, taking it from that 980 level back down below the 900 level. If you're going to go into a long-term core position, you'll definitely want to use the January contract, try and position in that below the 900 level. So looking at the headlines that are going to impact the precious metals today, you've got the core CPI coming out and you also have CPI data. So CPI month over month, previous was 0.2%, they're expecting 0.6%, so a modest uptick. Same thing with the year over year, the previous was 3.2%, they're expecting 3.6. Now they do have uh, X food and energy at flat at 0.2%, but I think you'd be naive to not take a look at where energy prices have gone recently. So we do have live cattle, feeder cattle, all those charts are going at 45 degree angles, as well as the crude oil market, which is about to breach the $90 level. Saudi Arabia, OPEC, and also Russia have all mandated um, some cuts going out to the end of the year, citing economic weakness, but I really think that it's just to balance their own budgets here. So the expectations for this fall for the Fed to raise rates, not at the September meeting, but when you go farther out, rests right around 50-50 uh, percent chance here that they are going to raise additional rates. So looking at the trends here on gold and silver, the current trend is bearish. If you look at the gold market, it has a head and shoulder pattern. So what I like to do is I blow up a big chart. It's going to be the reverse side of you because of the camera angle, but it does look like a bearish head and shoulders pattern. I oftentimes take a step back and look at the larger picture on where's the weekly, where's the monthly, where's the yearly on gold, where are we sitting at here, and it gives me a longer term perspective on where things are at. It's like looking at the roadmap before you start the journey rather than just looking at it one block at a time. So if you look at support and resistance and trend reversal point on the gold market, gold's got to go. It's got a lot of work to do on the upside. We've got um, resistance 1945, 1954, the the trend reversal point, which is 1969, that's the most important one for you guys because that's where the trend following funds and things like that, they're gonna switch over and they're gonna start going back onto the long side. Now it does have some weakness here at the 200 day moving average, which is 1978. So gold, a lot of resistance. Again, 1945, 1954, 1969 most important and 1978. So those are your four levels. On the downside, 1929 and 1922, those are your close in support levels as well. So um, on the silver market, it is also bearish. The MACD did turn negative, so you're going to have additional systems that are going to attack the downside because oftentimes that's one of the triggers that they'll look at. Are stochastics in oversold territory and is the MACD negative? So then those trends will switch. The algorithmic traders will trade to the downside. So it's unfortunate. I hate to tell you guys that, but that's just the way it is. That's why we haven't added much gold positions and we also haven't um, taken on additional futures contracts on the silver market despite the price weakness. We've looked at call spreads and longer dated ones and we'll continue to do so and we'll wait for that market to turn around before adding more higher risk uh, futures contracts. So outside markets here, they're mixed. You've got the US equities a bit weaker. Dollars up about eight ticks, 104.77. Crude oil up 50 cents, just under that $90 level. And Treasury yields are up three uh, tens of a basis point here. We're trading at 4.3%. You guys got any questions here? Give me a call, 312 858 7303. Remember, futures and option trading does involve risk of loss, may not be suitable to all investors. Good luck and good trading.